just gonna do a few pulls this week. Um, but yeah, so I got the 300 paid ticket for this lady, which I like this, LB. One of the Finas, I don't remember if it was Dark Fina or regular Fina, one of their CG LB Finas in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius had an LB that was like this exact same thing except in their like CGI animation style. And this one's War of the Visions art. But it's cool. It looks nice. Fiend is cool. Good unit. Not gonna commit though, especially with Summer right around the corner. We already got the uh, the leaks from JP that Summer Resnick is gonna be the next Summer unit. So I would wager a guess that'll probably be out next week for us. Because I feel like for seasonal events, we always get them like the next week. So there's a very strong possibility of that. If not, maybe the week after that, but it'll probably be next week. Especially since this week is Fina and her card, which I'm not doing any pulls for the card. I think this card is actually amazing. It's such a good card, but I'm going to have to rely on just getting it later and building it the slow way because I'm not using Viz on this. I am going to use a little bit of Viz today. I already used 300 paid, and I might do one of these other pulls for the popularity poll thing. Um, so there's this one. I'm not going to do this. It's 5k paid, and I'm only missing three of these units. I'm missing Astrius, Dario, and Volke. And I would love to have Astrius or Volke. Not so much Dario, but um, not 5k. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't want 5k paid worth. Plus, there's a chance that I could just get one of these other units that I already have. There's a bigger chance, because I'm missing only three. And there's five that I have, so. However, there is this one pull. By the way, this one, this banner though, they come at level 120, which is, that's actually really good. But still, I don't want to waste 5k paid. Uh, but then there's this banner that's just 2k free. And I think this guarantees, be guaranteed to obtain one of them, yeah. So I think I'll take my chances on this one and see if I can luck out and get one of the ones I'm missing. Probably not gonna happen, and I have been very lucky lately, so, and then this is just a free pull for shards. I've been very lucky lately, so I'm not gonna bank on getting anything lucky today here. So we're probably gonna walk out of the few pulls that I'm gonna do empty-handed, but let's just get into it and see. Let's give it a gander. We got a brown book on pull number one. This was just a single ticket though. Now, I believe this login day, or this login week is eight days long, so that means reset's probably not gonna be till next Wednesday, so that's like back to normal almost. Um, but that being said, that means as far as these free like FINA tickets goes, after today, we, we should still be able to get 11 more, because there's two days where there's two on login, and then seven days of tickets from the daily. So there's 12 in total of those, but I just used one so far. Anyways, here's the, the 10 pull for her. You can also buy this unit with 12k paid if you want. Hey, there's a, there's a rainbow in here at least. And there was not a guaranteed rainbow in here, so that's actually mega lucky. Multi-rainbow maybe? No. You know... There's no way, there's no way in hell that's gonna be Fina, right? Like, not possible. Right? It can't be possible. Okay, Flag Baron Glaciella. I was gonna say, like... The, only, the main reason I say that is because on Gilgamesh, I got him on his free tickets. So I know that any other normal banner units that I skip, I'm not gonna luck out on their 300 paid ticket for a long time. So, I wasn't due. Now, again, I think I'm going to do this, even though I only need three and the odds are bad, but, you know, at least if I get Ashen King Mont, I could put that towards Reincarnation. Joom and Oldoa, same thing. I don't know if I'll use resources on reincarnating, like, Helena. Or Ketone, I can't. Actually, my Ketone's only, like, LB3, so if I got a dupe of her, at least that would be some shards towards building her higher. But then, Volke, Dario, and Astrius would be the big wins, because I don't have them, so... You know what? Let's do it. This is a waste, because like I said, summer is right around the corner, and most likely here, I'm not going to get something I need. It is a 10-pull, though. It's guaranteed 5-star. 
The fact that it's not a gold book, though, makes me feel like it's only going to be the one. I did look at the rates, and the other units, you can pull them on any step, on any of these pulls. Ooh! I didn't know vision cards were going to be in here, though. However, that one vision card is a rainbow, so hopefully that's a vision card that I need. I do need a lot of vision cards. <laughs> But yeah, sadly, none of these other unit ones were in here. Because I was going to say, you could potentially get two. Like, you could get, like, Dario and Asterius on this pull if you're very lucky. But I didn't get very lucky, I got. I did get very lucky, though, in getting two rainbows. Hopefully this is a new card. That's not a new card. It's not a launch card, though, so it doesn't feel that bad. All right, now, is this going to be a new unit or not? Oh, it's a new unit! Which one? I don't know. Astrius. Is that Astrius? Yeah. Dude, when it wasn't showing his head, I was like, bro, that looks like X-Death. If you cover this guy's head, he kind of looks like X-Death when he's walking there. Now, that being said, X-Death isn't in this game, so I knew it wasn't X-Death. But, dude, for a second there, I was like, whoa. My brain was playing tricks on me, but hey, I got a new unit there, so you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. That was my number two choice, I think. Well, actually, so I was going to say, I probably wanted Volke a little more. But actually, that might not be true, because Volke is not a 100 cost unit. I think, either way, I'm happy to have got him big time. I definitely wanted Astrius more than Dario. So Astrius and Volke were my two, like, wish list characters there. Anyways, so that was pretty neat. Uh, oh yeah, and then I can do this. I guess I should just select Astrius shards in this, huh? to help build him faster. It looks like I already have 367 shards for him. So let's pick him. This is why I waited to do this shard pull too, so that I could, uh, you know, choose Astrius and guarantee his shards. Now, this is a 10 pull, I think, so I don't know if the other units are going to be all Reincarnation Fest units, or if it's just going to be random any units. Let's see. Okay, that's Yerma. She is definitely not... Okay, it's not even all five stars. So these are just random. So I guess the Yerma even was pretty lucky. Now, I'll still take it, because those Yerma shards, I'm just going to transfer over into Transcendent Mind Spheres and stuff like that. So you know what? Not even a big deal. So 10 Astrius shards. I'll pick... That's a daily pull, by the way. So I'll do this every single day, and that will be like eight, 80 shards for Astrius to help build him. 70 more after today. So that's cool. Um, I'll probably be able to LB5 him, actually, by the end of this week, because I already had 300-something shards, plus I can use stars and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to actually set him as my background unit, just because. Cypher? Cypher, you're out. See? Go take a back seat there, buddy. We're, we're tapping in Astrius. Meh. Our new and improved Astrius. All right, well. Wow, he looks kind of funny there. Is it just me, or does he look weird? I don't mean, like, his armor or anything. His armor looks cool. But his face just looks different. It doesn't look like Asterius to me from, like, the cutscenes and stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Meh. GG.